Hey everyone, this is Salman for WPMU Dev, your all-in-one WordPress platform. Today, I'll be showing you how to install XAMPP and WordPress on your Windows PC. So, what is XAMPP? In a nutshell, XAMPP is a local server that you can install on your laptop or your desktop to mimic an actual web server. It's a completely free open source Apache distribution with MariaDB, PHP, and Perl. It's available for all major operating systems. So, to get started, let's download XAMPP for Windows. I have it downloaded here on my desktop. Let's install XAMPP now. You might be presented with a user account control warning. Click OK. Click Next. Here, you can select the various components of XAMPP. To install WordPress, you only need Apache, MySQL, PHP, and PHP MyAdmin. So let's uncheck all the other components. Now click Next. Select the default folder. This is recommended. No. Next. So XAMPP is installing now. So why XAMPP? As a professional WordPress developer, I cannot stress enough how beneficial having a local development environment is. It lets me set up new WordPress installs in a Jiffy. And since it's hosted locally on my computer, there's no delay in uploading my changes and see them come alive on the browser. If I want to try a new theme, I just copy and paste it into my themes directory. And bam, it's loaded instantly. The same with plugins and changing any other settings. With XAMPP installed, I can continue working on my site even if I'm at a remote location with no connectivity. Developing locally is also much secure, as your site is offline and away from the prying eyes of hackers or pesky clients. <laughs> so now we have a Windows Defender Firewall warning which is asking us to unblock Apache HTTP server. So you have to tick the private networks option here. You can leave the public networks checked or unchecked. I'll leave it unchecked. The setup has finished installing XAMPP now. Let's go to its control panel. Select language. So here we have it. The famous control panel of XAMPP. The XAMPP control panel sports a simple user interface that lists all the modules of XAMPP one by one. It allows you to start and stop them and access their admin area once started. Go to their config files easily with just a single click and you can also access their log files easily from them. Apart from the modules listed here, XAMPP also has many other settings here for its overall control panel. Let's start Apache now. There you are done. Apache has started. You can access your Apache dashboard by clicking the admin button here. Let's do that now. Now let's start MySQL. You need to do what you did the same with Apache HTTP server before. Allow MySQL to communicate with your private networks. You can leave the public networks unchecked and click allow access. There you go, MySQL has started on port 3306. You can access the PHP MyAdmin dashboard by clicking the admin button here under MySQL module. This is your PHP MyAdmin dashboard. This concludes the setup of XAMPP as your local development environment. It's now ready to host any PHP based software such as WordPress. Let's test it now whether it's working properly. To do that, we need to create a test PHP file. Let's go to our XAMPP file and save it. Test.php. Let's go to the root folder of XAMPP to paste our test file. XAMPP serves pages from its HD docs folder. So let's go there. Let's create a folder and inside the folder let's copy and paste. It's now time to test it. Let's go to Chrome and paste in the URL for our test file and check whether it's working. There you go. The PHP test page works exactly. 
this means that XAMPP is successfully installed and configured on your system. Now let's move to installing WordPress locally with XAMPP. To get started, we need to create a database on your local MySQL server. To do that, you need to go to your PHP MyAdmin. You can do that by clicking the admin button here. And once you are in your PHP MyAdmin dashboard, click on databases and here you can create a database. Your database is now created. Now let's move to download and install WordPress. To download the latest version of WordPress, go to wordpress.org. Click on the get WordPress button and download it. Let's save it to my desktop. Once downloaded, copy WordPress. Create a folder for your site. I'll be calling it WP Test. Extract WordPress inside your website's folder. Make sure to copy only the contents within it. You can delete these files. Next, rename the WP config sample file and remove sample. Once done, edit the WP config file to set up your database. So, your database name should be entered here, which is WP MU Dev, and the username should be root. The password should be left blank, so I'll delete it. It's an empty, no character. The DB host can be local host. Save it, close it. Now you can go to your WordPress installation by going to localhost and entering the folder of WordPress site. This will take you to the WordPress installation screen. Select your language. Give a site title, enter your email, let's install WordPress and it's done. Let's log in now. There you go. Congrats, you've successfully installed WordPress on your local server. You can continue working on your WordPress site here as you'd normally do on your live site. Now let's move ahead to setting up WordPress multi-site locally with XAMPP. To do that. We need to go into your WordPress folder, go to wp-config, edit it, and then come here just before the line that says that's all, stop editing. And then you need to add this code. Save your file, close it, then refresh your WordPress dashboard. You'll now see an option called Network Setup in your Tools settings in WordPress Dashboard. So click on Network Setup. Give your network a title, WP Test Sites, that's good enough. Network Admin Email, click Install. To finish the installation, you have to follow the instructions given by WordPress here. You have to copy the code given here into your WP Config file. So let's do that. Copy, paste, save, done. Next, you need to add the following code to your HD access file. Do note that you have to replace the entire contents of your HD access file and not just add it. Your HD access file can be found in the same folder as your WP config file. So we have to replace all the code here. Done, save. Once you complete the steps, you need to log in again. And there you go. Your WordPress multi-site network has been set up. From here, you can access your individual sites by clicking on the My Sites link. Let's do that now. You can also create a new network site from here by clicking the Add New button. Let's create a site called Plugins. Your subsite has been added to your WordPress multi network. You can have a look. So, to conclude, XAMPP allows you to set up a local server environment on your Windows machine easily. The best thing about it is that it's completely free and open source. Once installed, you'll forget that it's even there. With XAMPP, you can develop and test WordPress sites swiftly on your system rather than doing it on the live server. 
You can try different themes and plugins, test their various features and experiment with many aspects of your site without breaking your sweat. What's more, you can also install as many instances of WordPress as you like. Who knew? The saying think global, act local holds true for web developers.